Hi guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I'm going to show you a recipe from the Cozy Clicks Color Confection Action Pack. Now this is a Photoshop action pack that's used with uh, Photoshop Creative Cloud and it's meant to enhance the colors in your photo. So these actions can be used after you do your basic edits or they can be used totally on their own. So it's up to you. Today I'm gonna to show you how I'm going to enhance the colors in this photo using the Color Confection Action Pack. So if you see, you've got, you'll have them loaded up in your Actions tab over here. So this set includes um, 10 color enhancing actions plus your toppings, which are kind of cool um, little added effects that you could add to your photo. So I'm gonna look around on this one and I want to really deepen all of these brown tones that I see throughout my photo. So I'm gonna choose chocolate chip for the first action that I run. So I'm gonna pick chocolate chip and just hit play. And you see that automatically really deepens and richens the tones of the browns in my image. And I kind of really like the way that looks. Um, however, I don't love it across my subjects. So all of these actions include a layer mask tab. So you can click on that and you have the ability to brush it off. So I'm gonna choose a black brush and I'm going to increase the size of that brush and I'm just gonna brush that deepness off of my subjects because I don't want it so, so deep on them. I'm gonna adjust the opacity a little bit and take it off just around them a little bit more. Okay, just like that. So it keeps it real nice and deep throughout. You can see there it is without the action and with the action on. But I wanna enhance some more of these colors. So if I take a look here, I also see a lot of red tones throughout and I wanna pop those and enhance those out a little more. So I'm going to use the black cherry action. So I'm gonna go back to my background and I'm gonna click play on black cherry. And you'll notice that that really enhances the reds and the background of this image. Once again, I'm not loving the way it looks on my subjects, so I can easily just go over, click on that layer mask, and erase that color effect off of my subject. And that's what I'm going to do right there. Oh, I'm going to make the opacity a little, a little more on there. And that's one of the really cool things about these actions, is that you can apply them to just certain parts of your photo. So if, for instance, I didn't like it, the redness up here, I could erase it up here. Or I could erase some of that redness off of the, the sun if I wanted as well, okay? Now, looking at this image, I see that there is some blue in her dress. I kinda wanna pop that out and make that more bold. So I'm going to go back to my background and I'm gonna choose the blueberry action right there. I'm gonna click play. And on this one, I'm actually going to click on it and I'm going to hit Control I to invert that layer mask because I know the blue I just want on a very small specific part of this image. I don't want it across the whole image like I did with the chocolate chip and black cherry. So I'm gonna invert the image and this time I'm going to brush on where I want it to be. So I'm gonna color it on her dress. Okay. So I'm gonna go just like this and I'm going to paint that blueberry action to make her dress more blue. Now on all of these actions too, you have the ability to open them up. And I didn't show you that on the chocolate chip or black cherry, but let me show you on, blue cher on blueberry. Um, you can open this one up and you'll see that you have several more choices. So if you wanted it less blue, you could remove the extra berry from it. If you wanted this action more blue, you could click the mega berries and that's gonna make her dress, oh, that looks kinda nice, that pops it out even more. So you have the ability to make any of these actions um, more intense or less intense, so depending on your liking. Um, and then let's just shut that one down, and you can see, let's turn that action. There's the without blueberry, and that's pretty cool how, how much that enhanced that one. So for this recipe, what we did, we used chocolate chip, black cherry, and blueberry. Let me show you what it looked like without them on. So there was my original. And here we enhanced all of the colors, and that really makes them pop and rich and bold. The last thing I want to show you is 
the bonus part of this set is your toppings. So if you run that toppings action, they're gonna be turned off, okay? If we turn those on and open them up, you'll see that there's five different toppings. And these are just effects. They're, they're exactly what it is. It's toppings to go on top of your image um, to just add maybe a, a cool little extra effect. So on this one, I'm going to choose the nuts topping. So I'm gonna turn that one on. And that just gives an overall nice little topping or finish across the image. So there it is without, and there it is with the nut topping on it. Now, if I liked the nut topping, but I wanted to increase or decrease, I just go up to the opacity and I could increase and, and really lay on that effect if I wanted to, or I could decrease it down and just make it very, very subtle. So maybe I'll just make that nut topping a little more subtle on that one. And that's it. That's a really cool recipe for this photo. That's using chocolate chip black cherry blueberry with my nut topping. I hope you learned a little something if you have this action pack. If you want to check out more from the Cozy Clicks Color Confection action pack, um, you can click on the link below and it will give you even more information. Thanks for watching, guys.